Hi, it's Zoe in the Psalm Next Door. Today we're doing my fall favorite wine picks. It was super tough kind of going through um, what wines that I wanted to pick. And okay, let's be honest, there is no technical season for wines. You can have them whenever. It's just that, you know, sometimes you just it just feels right. So let's start off with the whites. We're moving from the crisper whites, like the Abarinos and like the lighter Italian whites. And now we are moving to wines that, you know, have seen a little bit of oak that have like riper fruit characteristics. For instance, if you haven't done so already, watch the burgundy video. A white burgundy, which is a Chardonnay will do beautifully in the fall. It's a little bit more creamy. It was on yeast cells for a little bit longer, it has a little bit more baking spices because it was in that oak. It's not new oak like California Chardonnays. I feel like that's like you're in full winter then, but this was the one I was drinking. I guess technically Macon is not really like true true burgundy but it's in the burgundy region and this was beautiful it was very very tasty so that's my first pick is a white burgundy second pick is what i'm drinking right now so one of the very famous wines is Condru, and that is found in northern rhone france and Condru is made from viognier so <laughs> I was looking around and I, I found a Condru and they're pretty expensive. This one was like $45, $50 and I was like, oh, I don't know how about that. I believe this one was around 20 bucks. I'll put the prices below. This is Viognier mixed with Marsan. This is from McLaren Vale in Australia. And so this also has like more body, riper fruit. A little touch of bitterness but it has a lovely smell of some baking spices some nutmeg in the aroma so i think a viognier would be a beautiful pick for fall my third pick would be a chenin blanc and i do not have a chenin blanc right now but chenin blancs are pretty famous in the loire valley france and also in South Africa. Sometimes it goes by another name like Vouvray. Me personally, it's like through my wine journey, Chenin Blanc was the second serious wine where I was like, ooh, I like this. Chenin Blanc, just like Rieslings, can go from very dry to very sweet. And But the Chenin Blanc has lovely stone fruit peach flavors. It also has like a slight bitterness. It can have some oak in there as well. All right, let us move on to the reds. Now, I will have to say, and this was not a coincidence of why I did a burgundy video first, but red burgundies, yeah, man, perfect for fall. Honestly, there's always a good time or red burgundies. I really think they're year round, but in the fall, especially, you smell the earth, the dirt, like the leaves coming down, like a red burgundy, 100%. It just has that same kind of smell and it's not too heavy, so it's a nice transition. I think one of the underlying themes for the red wines that I picked is the earthiness of the wines or like a earthy gaminess of the wines. I did not pick strategically any Cabernet Sauvignons. Of course you could drink some Cabernet Sauvignons, but I'm gonna save that to winter. And now we're like in a place where we can kind of play. Please watch my video where I talk about red burgundies and how you can buy some red burgundies for an affordable price, quote unquote without breaking the bank and paying thousands of dollars. I will say like Tempranillos. So Tempranillo, AKA everyone needs to remember some Briojas, yes. Or some Portuguese red blends. They have a lovely earthiness, a lovely gaminess to them. Briojas in particular are known for, for being aged in new American oak. 
So having that vanilla, baking spices, um, American oak is known for having a little bit of dill. So right now I am drinking a Syrah Grenache blend from Cote du Rousillon. It's not crazy full, full body, but it has a lot of tannins. It has a nice spice, a nice like ripe cherry character to it. And what I was trying to go for, I'm not opening this bad boy up. Oh. Sorry, y'all. But what I was thinking was a Chateau Neuf du Pape. Just like break it up. Chateau Neuf du Pape. So that's the castle of the Pope. So this is like the region. It's in Southern Rhone. And they can use 13 different types of grapes, but a majority of it is Grenache Syrah, Mouverdre. But it is just... It's just a great wine. It does have a lot of body to it, but not super tannic. It has some dried herbs. It's like earthy, a little bit peppery, ripe baked red fruits. And I think it's just perfect for fall. And you know, those are a little bit pricier. You're gonna look for like 40, $50. You can find some good Syrah Grenache, Grenache blends, not from Chateau Neuf de Pop. I bought mine from Cote de Rousillon which I showed you, and that's very south of France. And, you know, it's still doing the job. So, any like, you know, Syrah Grenache blends right now, that is very appropriate for fall. For people who are a little bit more price conscious, like, you know, Malbec right now would be fantastic. Malbec from Argentina. Again, it has that earthiness. It has a little bit of that dry herb flavor some ripe black fruits, some pepperiness. And like, if you guys watched my Costco video, you won't break the bank. I think that was like $7. The Kirkland Malbec is bomb. So these are my picks. Let's do a full recap. So Burgundy's white and red. Just, let's just put that out there. Then we have our Viognier and our Chenin Blanc for the whites and then for the reds, you got your Tempranillo, which is a lot of your Spanish and Portuguese wines. You have some Grenache Syrah blends. If you can ha spend that money, get Chateau Neuf de Pop. And then Malbec, I think those are my picks for fall wines. And I think they would go so beautifully with the fall produce as well. And also just, kind of the vibe of fall, the smell, the scents. Well, I hope this was super helpful and gets you a glimpse of what I'm drinking this fall. Please comment down below of what you guys are drinking and what you guys would like to watch from my channel. Please hit that like button, that thumbs up button right there, do it. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Thank you guys for watching. Cheers. I'll catch you guys later. Whoops.